we were a much better team tonight. Things that we didn't do last night, we did. We moved our legs. We won more races. And when we got to those races, and there was a battle. We won more battles. Not all of them, but we won more tonight. And, um, we got really fine goaltending. And we got some timely goals. Um, it was uh, between the second and the third. We, we talked about this with our team before, is that every game is a riddle, and there's no textbook answers. And the, the, the riddle tonight was how to try to win this game in the third period with 19 out of your lineup. And uh, Kevin Schultz, he probably had as good a college game as he's had all season. He was given the game puck, could have gone to a lot of guys. And then we as a staff thought that Chase Drake and uh, Mr. Whitcow stepped up. They got more minutes and they did some good things. So with 19 out of the lineup, we had good growth and found a way to win a game. Those are very positive things. Andy in the back. Can you imagine how great Bessie feels right now? There's a more satisfying performance, a team to play against, a team to score a goal against, set up the winning goal. It'd be difficult to find. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, it, it's uh, only he would know coming from that state, and, but we can imagine how he would feel. But uh, nice for him. You know, after he almost took a nosedive yesterday in the introductions uh, after the anthem, I'm sure that, 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 that this is a redemption game for him in that fact. They hadn't swept you, that you had not swept them here since Donnie took over that program in 99. It's a long time. That is, I mean, they've, they've always had good teams. It's a tough task. And, you know, uh, winning this series, you know, helps us grow to be the team that we want to be at the end of the year. If we're going to be a team that's contending for something, then we need to win series like this. So there was good growth for us this weekend. You, you touched on the watershed moment of the night, Jake's penalty. You thought it was a five? It was I did not see it. I, I did not see it. I talked to the referee about the fact that Mr. Rell's a smaller guy. Did he take that into consideration when the hit was made? I had not looked at it yet. Shuey thought he might have brought his hands up as he made the hit. So if that's the case, then it's a penalty. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a bad guy to lose. But, you know, uh, now we can look back and say, look at the growth that happened because other guys had to step up. I've heard you say that he is taking him out of your lineup would probably be the biggest biggest hole just based on everything he does being such a workhorse and playing the minutes he does and the responsibility he does. Is that fair? Absolutely. Ben, I'm left. Nick's been inching to go, I'm assuming, for a while now. And just how did he kind of hold up throughout the weekend, you think? <laughs> you know, I guess the best way to describe him, he's a thoroughbred. He can go. He's got a, a great work capacity as an athlete. And he hasn't played in four weeks, and he logged a lot of minutes. And there was times that I thought he could hardly get off the ice, but he recovered and he was able to get out there. And you can see how dynamic he is, his ability to get from point A to point B, his understanding of the game and his skill set. You know, he, he adds a lot to our, our team. Andy? Your team knew earlier today that this was going to be a sellout. Could you, could you feel that from them? Could you sense that the impact that that had on them, not only during the game, but before the game? There, there was a sense of urgency even from last night, Andy, like, uh, because we didn't play well. And we knew that if we were going to have a chance to, to win this game tonight, we had to play better. So that was part of the urgency, the fact that it was sold out. Hey, I'm a college student. I'm playing in this sold out building. I'm getting jacked up for that. It's interesting to uh, share a brief story. When our kids graduate, the seniors, they have an exit meeting with, with Coach Alvarez. And he asked them, what's the most memorable thought of being playing here? And to a T, the players say, playing in the Kohl Center when it sold out. So you know that's one of those emotional energizers that jacks them up and was part of the equation of the night for our kids. Here, Andy. You, you touched on Joel's play, and he's obviously been your number one for a while, but has, has he even taken his game to another level lately? The, the, another level, Andy, revolves around the fact that his attention to detail is there. He's big, he, he's athletic, that was always his strength. But his attention to detail has has helped him elevate to another level and, and give us and, and him the numbers that he has. Um, and that's where his game has grown and, and how he's gotten better. Okay, Caroline. How would you evaluate your special teams both tonight and on the weekend as a whole? Well, we were one for two on the power play. That's 50%, so that's pretty good. And then the penalty killing, um, you know, we did a lot of good things. It's a good power play. We blocked a lot of shots. I think special teams, if we were to rank ourselves, we'd say it was a plus for us. Devin? 
What impact would you say Cordelis, his return, had on your team? Um, a, a good, big impact, something like that. Uh, but he, he brings that energy to, to our game with his athleticism. You know, when a thoroughbred intends to run, everybody wants to try to keep up with him. Ben? What do you think the carryover effect is going to be for you guys now? I mean, you have a lot of road games left, but it's a pretty big home series for you guys that you put in the barn. I mean, what do you think this carryover can be for this team? I hope really positive. I think the experience of playing in Michigan this past weekend and getting that kind of playing in that environment and knowing what it's going to be like to be back on the road in a small sheet, coming back here, finding a way to win two games, and then going to Ohio State, that's a good combination of things that hopefully will be a positive for us going in there. Andy? Mike, if there's a poster boy for the way you've played at home, Grant's gotten all his points here. He <coughs> hasn't lost when he scored a point. Kind of a pretty defining start to his career, at least as far as home games go. Yep, that is. And I hope that continues and he gets even better on the road.